Hey everybody, hey traders, Chris Pulver here. Welcome to a new video playlist that I'm putting out on my YouTube channel uh, and all my social media outlets, but I'm calling this one the Trader's Path to 100%. Uh, my goal is, I started these accounts uh, in various times, but I just started a fresh account and it kind of inspired me to start this playlist. Uh, I just launched a course called Portfolio Builder and I'm doing it specifically for Forex traders and the timing could not have been better. Uh, we started in on September 8th, 2023. We started to position ourselves in some currency pairs and we're currently up around three 320 pips and uh, we're just getting started my goal is to double that account over the next six to 12 months now I have other Forex accounts that I'm trading and these trades are in they've started earlier I've been sitting on them but this particular account is about doubling the account with just the trades I'm taking I also have some stock accounts I want to do the exact same thing with that are $30,000 balances, $50,000 balances, and I'm looking to double those in the next 6 to 12 months, but I'm doing that through stocks and options. So I think that this video playlist is a good way to showcase what I'm doing in all the different asset classes that I'm trading. Okay, so let me get rid of this. Let's talk about exactly how this whole thing's going to work. And you can see right here, I am starting this process. This is a Forex account I started for a class called Portfolio Builder. And I started with $10,000. The balance right now is sitting at 10,165. And that has been about 13 calendar days. Uh, it's been about two weeks of trading. We're up right now about 300 pips. And we have pending orders on a lot of these positions. We're going to be starting to stack orders where I'm buying if price is going higher. I'm buying dips if we have pullbacks. Uh, if I'm selling a currency, I'm selling retracements and adding on, on uh, levels as it go in my favor. So that is one account that I'm looking to double. And it's just in Forex. And then I also have some stock and options account, which I'll show you right now. Okay, quick snapshot of some stocks and options account. I have a 30K balance uh, in TD Ameritrade. This is a cash margin account that is also a stocks and options account. Uh, my goal is to take 30K and stretch it to 60K. Obviously, uh, my, my real goal is to take this up to $100,000 and then be in that preservation of capital mode. Uh, I also have this account here. Uh, this is a combination of multiple accounts. Some of them are retirement accounts, which I have less margin. I have no margin, actually. Uh, it's mostly just dollar cost averaging and passive investing. But I also have some cash accounts in here, primarily this one. Uh, this account, that is $45,000. I'm looking to get that up to 90. My goal, of course, is to get that to 100 plus. Um, obviously, I'm not stopping. You know, when I double these accounts and I take 45,000, turn it into 100, or take 30,000, turn it into 60, I'm not stopping. Um, it's just, okay, so I did it. Now I'm going to do it again, right? I also have this account. This is my uh, Charles Schwab account. I have uh, in my cash account, this is a cash margin account for just, just under $40,000. Again, if I turn it into 76, turn it into 80, my goal is to get this account to 100 grand. So that's an overview, right? I, I don't think there's a lot of traders out there that you know are truly going to show you these are the trades I'm taking, these are the decisions I'm making, and this is what I'm doing to grow my account. Uh, I'm willing to do that. I have been you know, on my YouTube channel for the last two years now, just starting from scratch. Uh, it, it's To me, it's organic growth. I'm not super heavy on social media. I don't have time for that. I am you know, teaching, I'm doing trading rooms, I'm trading my accounts, I'm in the markets. You know, I mean, the content stuff for me is great. I wanna show you, I wanna help you, but my job is to trade, okay? Um, I also have an interactive brokers account that right now one portion of it is around 250k. I'd like to also double that. So I'll show you that right here. Uh, this is currently sitting at 252,000, and my goal is to take this one up to 500k. Uh, that one's probably going to take six to 12 months. I can be a little bit more aggressive on this account, and then I have another account that's in the millions that I'm a little bit more uh, conservative on. Uh, but that's another one I look to take. And, I'm, you know, I'm doing similar stuff. I mean, if you want to know a breakdown of the strategies, again, I'll just call this episode one for Trader's Path to 100. Uh, let me just go ahead and do some white space here. So let's go into, uh, this is fine, and I'll just use my drawing tool here. So what am I doing? So let's talk about Forex trading. Okay, so I have a 10K account, and I'm looking to double it. Um, I already am positioned. I have a 50K account that I, I may not double it. My trade sizes aren't that large, but I will probably be able to take that trade up to around 75K. Um, and that one connects and, and that's, you know, making a lot of money in copy, copied accounts. But my goal here, like I said, 10K, I started the class brand new just with Forex trading as of September 8th, 2023. Uh, we're currently already up, you know, plus 300 pips and running. And what we are doing is we're essentially, uh, we're, we're market orders where we wanted to start. 
Uh, I'm looking at leveling orders. If price falls down, if I'm a buyer and price is falling and dipping, I'm going to buy those dips. Uh, it'll be a combination of pullback levels, pocket levels, Fibonacci levels. Great. Uh, the other one is going to be stacking orders, which means I might not get the pullbacks that I want. I might not get the retracements that I want. So I still like profit targets higher. I still have plans for all my currency pairs. A lot of my currency pairs have a minimum movement as far as my analysis. I'm looking at like 700 to 1,000 pips of movement before I take profit. So there's plenty of opportunity to still participate in these trades. And to do it, I'm either in the market now, I'm leveling with pullbacks, or I'm stacking at higher prices and just letting price continue to do its thing. If it goes higher, goes higher, goes higher, breakouts continue going higher, my profit levels get hit, I can still build my trade size. So what I'm doing is I'm trading small. So I start with uh, basically micro lots and build them to mini lots, and I'll probably max out less than one standard lot. Okay, I have $10,000 in this account that gives me $10,000 uh, of margin to work with. And currently, I mean, again, I'm trading 50 to one. So technically, as far as margin goes, I have a lot more capital to work with. But per my broker, you know, every time I take a trade, I know that there's margin on that trade. So right now, uh, the current positions I'm in, I'll show you this right here. Current positions I am in, uh, my total margin on my positions, I'm... I'm using up about $590 right now in margin on a $10,000 count. So I've only used up about 5.9, 6% of my margin. I have plenty of available margin and I'll continue to stretch that and use it. Uh, the idea here is I'm going to be playing with house money and I'm, I've got a positive balance and I'm adding orders, letting some, you know, look, the market's going to fluctuate. I'll have certain add-on trades that have pullbacks. I'll have certain add-on trades that go into drawdowns. But my net position, that's the most important thing with this, is I know, I have to know, must know my break-even level and know my profit targets. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, three and five wave moves. And some of you might see that and say, oh, great, this guy's Elliott Wave. Not really. I'm a symmetry trader. I'm a pattern trader. But it's pretty easy to see that the market notoriously moves in structured waves. And so a three-wave move, if it hits my profit target and my efficiency levels, I'll take profit. But if I can hold out for a five-wave move, it just gives me more profit to work with. I'm also in a lot of currency pairs that I'll be receiving positive uh, rollover. Positive rollover means I am paid by liquidity providers and brokers to hold. And that is the only time in the last, well, I guess this is the third time in about 15 years that I've seen this type of environment. Now that we have come off of zero interest rates, we've come off of zero interest rates and we've rallied up uh, as far as the, you know, the Fed has gone from 0%, sorry, my broker's chirping at me. Um, the brokers have gone from 0% to, you know, 4%, 5%, 5 plus percent. And I'm trading currency pairs that allow me to have a differential that's in my favor. So as, as an example, I'm holding dollar Swiss long. The dollar is trading around five and a half, five and a half percent interest rate. The Swiss is at 1.75. I receive that swap on a daily basis and it ends up annually being around three, three and a half percent. Okay. So I have a little bit of padded buffer for getting paid on these trades, positive rollover, plus the technicals, plus the pocket levels, plus my break evens, plus my, all this stuff adds up. Right. So again, is it going to be difficult for me to double this account based on the technicals, based on the timing, based on, you know, how we're getting started, based on the, the levels I'm at with a lot of these pairs I've started in since the last couple of weeks. I think we're in a perfect environment to, to, I mean, again, I hate putting a timeline in this stuff, but if I could double this in the next six to 12 months, that would be mission accomplished because I can't force the market to move, right? Nobody can. Um, but I would say that if we, if we give it some time, these trades are going to play out hopefully to our favor and uh, we're making some profit. Okay. So that's my Forex trading. And then let's get into uh, my stock accounts. So I'll get into those balances here. I'll delete all the stuff and start it over. So I've got my Forex for 10K. Forex, uh, that's a 10K account. And then I have stocks and options. And I have a 45K account. I have a 30K account. I have another 40K account. Uh, 40K account. I have a, let's see here, a 250K, it's 252, but I'll say 250K account. Uh, these all, all these goals, I'm going to try to go 100% gains on each. That's going to be my goal. Now, how am I doing that? I'm trading stocks 
options. Now, with some of the stocks, I'm also including ETFs. Um, as far as positioning, it's pretty diversified. I have some exposure in some tech. I have some exposure in materials. I have some exposure in financials. I have some exposure in dividend stocks, uh, value tech, your, 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 your FANG, which is now called the Enormous 8 or the MAG7, right? You know, the, the, the Apples, the uh, Amazons, the Googles, the Microsofts, all those, all those stocks. Um, and, you know, I think they've had a great run for 2023. I'm now looking to see where the asymmetry lies. To me, I think the asymmetry is in China and materials. I like those plays a lot. I'm also going to be pretty aggressive on trading options with these individual stocks that I own, as well as trading ETFs like the SPY and the Qs. I trade these a lot uh, every single week. I do a lot of straddles. I do a lot of intraday trading. Um, so again, I'm trying to churn some of these accounts. Uh, they're not all going to be traded the same way. So, you know, it, again, to think about this, if I took the same trades in this account, this account, this account, this account, you know, that's a lot of logins. That's a lot of totally separate trading and trade sizes. So they're going to be planned out differently. Uh, for example, this 30K account, I'm doing more buy and hold. And I have the cash margin to say, okay, look, I've got a 30K account. I'm willing to invest about $15,000 in ownership. And I'm going for asymmetry. If I have 15K and I can get a 200% gain on some of these stocks. So I'm looking for, you know, 2x returns, 3x returns, 4x returns. And so I need to see, you know, I'm buying extremely low. I'm marking my 100% levels and my 200% levels. I'll take my profits. I can use options when it's appropriate. Uh, when it comes to the more liquid instruments and stuff that I don't necessarily want to own, like the SPY, like the Qs that are trading at, you know, the SPY is $440, the Qs are $370. You know, I can't own those. I can't control a bunch of options on those with ownership. So I just trade options exclusively. They're super liquid. They're pretty cheap to trade. And, uh, you know, doing credit spreads and doing some straddles and doing some long options, things like that work out very well. Right. So they'll be traded all pretty differently. But this is a way for me to put in basically like a video blog. So it'll be episode one, you know, Trader's Path to 100. And probably every week I'll post a new video and I'll just give you a spot check of where things are at. You know, if we're in consolidation, there's probably not a lot of traction. But what I'm excited for is I think the Forex side is doing really, really well. And I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how that progresses over the next couple of months on these accounts. Uh, there's going to be a time and a place where I'm going to be way more aggressive, way more aggressive. It's not right now. You know, the markets seem to be, we, we've had this nice run through July. The markets have paused and hesitated in August, now through September. And so as we get into these future episodes, you know, it may not be about a bunch of ownership. It most it might, might be about lowering my cost basis. You know, if I use options to lower my cost basis, I still increase my profit potential. So let's say that I own a stock right here. If the stock goes nowhere, I don't necessarily gain on that position. So I just sit here and my P&L is about the same. But if I actively use options and I lower my cost basis, you know, I can do covered calls, I can do credit spreads, I can do all sorts of creative ways to trade options and make some money. So if I lower my cost basis, lower my cost basis, lower my cost basis, lower my cost basis, and eventually the stock, let's say it breaks out. Let's say the stock breaks out and we have a broad market rally and this stock benefits or whatever it is, whatever this instrument is benefits. Well, if I just did nothing other than buy and hold, then my gain is right here, right? If I did buy and hold, then my gain is this. But if I use options and I'm lowering my cost basis and making money to get my break even cost lower, now you can see that I've increased my profit potential. So rather than, well, the stock moved up 10% and so did my position. I could say, well, the stock moved up 10%, but my break even is lower. I may have made 15 to 20%. And so I, I've talked to traders about this in my trading room about using, you know, the SPY, for example. I mean, if the SPY has 10 to 15% upside, my goal is to make 25 to 30% on my gains, right? And if that helps with a broader market rally and individual stocks rally, you know, 40 to 50%. Fantastic. I'd like to take that 40 to 50% and try to double that as well. So I'm, I'm trying to use options with the leverage they provide to increase the juice on those gains. Again, trying to be patient, trying to make sure that I'm technically, you know, getting in with proper timing. Options can be slippery that way. If it's wrongly priced or it's if it's wrongly timed, that doesn't help me. That is... Episode one, Trader's Path to 100%. I'm going to keep it at 100% because these are all my accounts. So when it's all said and done, what's going to be exciting is, okay, so I have, you know, a 20K balance here. And I can say mission accomplished. Well, it doesn't stop there. I can say, okay, so we have a Trader's Path to 100% mission accomplished year one. And then my next video series is Trader's Path 100% year two. And I just keep this vlog going because why not? 
why wouldn't I do this as long as I feel like there's runway to do it? These are these accounts are not too big to go after these type of gains. OK, so if this is, you know, 90K, this one is 60K, this one is 80K and this one is 500K. Great. And obviously this is close enough where why not get to 100? Right. Why not get to 100? Why not get this one to 75 to 80? So I'm not just stopping and I'm going to close up shop. It's like, oh, I did it there. I'll showcase it. I'll show off. Look, this is a real genuine look at how a real trader trades. I've been in the markets for a long, long time. You know, I've been trading stocks since 2000. I've been trading, you know, Forex since 2007. I've been trading options aggressively uh, and actively since 2015. I've been in crypto since 2016. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of assets. I still like trading stocks. I love now the combination of stocks and options. I love trading Forex. To me, this is a way to be a, a well-rounded trader that has seen a lot in the markets. You know, I've traded the dot-com bubble. I traded the great financial crisis. I've traded, uh, you know, quantitative easing, quantitative tightening. I've traded downgrades. I've traded Brexit. I've traded through all sorts of stuff, flash crashes and Forex. So I have seen a thing or two. Um, and, and what I have learned a lot over the, over the years is there is a time and a place to be aggressive. There's a time and a place to be conservative. There's, there's a time and a place to know that what's the best thing you can do for your account. And right now, I think in my stocks and options account, it is lower my cost basis, play defense, be protective until I feel like we have the coast is clear, broader market direction. And if I have a better direction and sentiment is improving, then I could be way more aggressive, way more aggressive. And, and, that's, and that doesn't mean necessarily taking on risk. It just means I can have more of my strategies involving directional plays that make me a lot of money a lot faster. Um, it's tough when the market's sideways. It's tough when we have low volatility. You know, and as far as the timing of this video series, I might not double all these at the same time. In fact, that's highly unlikely. Um, and it might take longer than six months. It might take longer than 12 months. But the point is, I want to do this video series and offer it up to any of you that are willing to watch and follow along, ask me questions. So here's one thing you can say. If you want to join me for this, if you want to follow along with this, just subscribe to the YouTube channel, like and subscribe, all the stuff, notification bells, join my Discord channel. It's all free group chat. It's all for you. Um, I'm not asking for anything, right? The point is, if you want to see our real trader trades, you know, look, I work for a hedge fund. I trade for myself. I traded for other people for a lot of years. I, I'm decent, right? I, I'm good at this. I, I do it for a living. So that's a lot different than all the excitement, all the, you know, social media, like, look at what we did. Look at what we did. It's like, I just, I hate the grandstanding and the showmanship of like, it looks so sexy and it looks so marketable. It's like, it's just about content, not all about likes. It's like, I'm doing this because I like this outlet. I like to share my story. I like to share my experience. And if that helps traders and investors along the way, so be it. That's what I'm going for. You know, I'm accessible. I teach thousands of traders in my trading rooms and I've been doing it for years. And if this is a nice way for people to find me and, to, and you know, jump onto something else and have this be something you can keep tabs on and maybe it helps you make some decisions. Uh, there will be times where maybe I'll be frustrated. You're going to see the emotional highs and lows that come with trading. All right. So it's not about everything being perfect. It's not about everything being only the good stuff. It's like, I'll show you the good and the bad. If I lose, I will show you. If I win, I will show you, but I'm confident in my abilities to make money. And I know that we're going to have challenging times ahead. I know we're going to have a lot of uncertainty and I don't know where the next big move is. I don't have a crystal ball. Neither do you look. There's no guarantees in trading. Even the most confident I can be is like 80 to 90%. There's always going to be risk. Okay. So we trade probabilities, we calculate our risk and we diversify. You know, I have different accounts. I'm trading different strategies. Uh, obviously, the more money I trade, I don't want to be as aggressive, but this to me is a fraction. The 250K account is a fraction of my total account, so I can take more risk. This is roughly you know, a 5% a stake. So if I have 5%, I can be more aggressive on that 5%, and maybe that moves the needle for my entire account, but this one I can double. So I'm going to try. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. One thing you leave in the comment for this, it really help and support the channel is number one, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Chris Pulver. And if you want to leave a little code word in the comment, just put path to 100% or put 100%. Okay, just leave a comment for me. I'll, I'll, I'll heart that. I'll thumbs up that. But I look forward to seeing everyone tune into this. You know, like I said, I'll probably do this every week and just do a little, you know, five or 10 minute video. How are the accounts doing? What happened this week? Uh, you're going to get some overview, some market commentary, some macro, some events. You know, there's never a dull moment. There's so much data to intake. It's crazy. Um, so we just filter the noise, trade what's, trade what's applicable, trade what matters, and we grow our accounts. Because like it or not, 
you know, the, the market's going to make money. Like people are making money in these markets, whether you're right or not, or you're participating or not. Um, I just hate to think that if the market's up on its own 20%, that I'm not taking advantage of that. Now banks and money markets are, you know, 4%, 5%. People are super excited about it. Man, screw that. I want alpha. I want gains, you know? I want to be an investor. I've got plenty of runway. You know, I just turned 41 this year. Let's see where this goes over the next three years, five years, 10 years, you know? So that's the plan. I'm not going anywhere. I, I, I plan on trading this way. Like this to me is like the best Sudoku crossword puzzle every single day, every single year. I can do this stuff all day, right? All day, every day. And I do. So I hope it helps, and I hope the you know the energy and the enthusiasm is pretty obvious. So if you want to track what we're doing, come check it out. So leave that comment 100%, and uh, I'll see you in this uh, video series. Trader's Path to 100%. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.